Hi there, everybody. I'm at home working and everybody's at school today and I'm sort of waiting for paint to dry in a picture frame and I'm doing some stuff and I decided to make a quick video because I have a journal that I am down to the last page on. It's a Leuster 1917. I've been keeping this journal since October 2022, 21 and I'm a going to finish it off probably today, begin another another one. And I was just going to run through a few things that I like to do and some of the brands I like and how I <laughs> how I use my pens, my fountain pens. I I tend to uh when I'm using writing a journal, I tend to do a daily uh daily up uh you know, I start off in the morning usually and I just discuss the weather and what I have planned that day and what's going on and um so it's been going on for a while now, keeping a keeping a record of just you know, I've been keeping a journal off and on for years actually, but uh, more so in the last number of years. And one of my favorite journals is the Leistrom 1917 A5 size. I use the uh, dot grid. I like the dot grid a lot. It's unobtrusive. Uh, it looks nice. It's you know it's it's uh, it's just a for whatever reason it's one of the one I like and. Um, I do use several other brands. One of the things I like about Leustrom and, and a lot of notebooks in general are the fact that they come in different colors. These are some, you know, this is just a small spattering of the colors. Reds, taupe, and blue. And so there's greens and there's this nice orange. Uh, usually when I'm done, I they, they also include like a, 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 a title blocks and I put one on and they have a, a strip that you put on the spine and what I do is I I tend to um, just keep a little breakdown of what's in the journal and and so on. And so today I'm going to start a new journal, but I'll be using it probably a different setup. Uh, but in other notebooks I like, this is a barren fig that I keep on the go. It's uh, blank pages, uh, and I use it mostly as a sketchbook. It sits on my work table, and when I'm, you know, I doodle in it, come up with some ideas, make little notes. Sometimes I put down... Uh, suggestions for titles, things like that, and that's usually on my work table. Uh, here's some blank journals that are, you know, not in use yet, but I, uh, you, sometimes I'll have a couple extra kicking around. Here's another sketchbook that, uh, you know, I'll use someday. I like uh, Claire Fontaine also. Uh, this one I'm just keeping, it's not necessarily a journal, it's just sort of some, some thoughts about, you know, about the past, more memories and things like that. Um, you know, writing things down is a great way to to, to think about things and, re and recall uh, past events and times and things that you enjoyed. And uh, it's a, a, a great pastime in, in that way. Um, I keep a little, sometimes I carry around little books like this in my pocket if I'm going to meet a client and I may, need to take notes. That's something I, uh, you know, in everyday carry, I stick it in the pocket. Uh, this is an endless uh, note uh, leather leather carry, uh, bind, uh, cover, and inside I carry I have several different little uh, little notebooks, probably A6 I think A4. Anyway, uh, and I use these for uh, you know this one's just some some thoughts. Uh, the one at the back is a, a grid pattern, and I use that for. Uh, when I'm at a meeting or something on a committee or whatever, and the one in the middle, I keep swatches of colors and what's on the go, and uh, you know, trying to keep an inventory of my inks and what's currently inked is at the back, uh, and, and you know, it's nice. It's just a nice presentation. It has these little elastic bands that you put through the center of the notebook to hold them in place. And this one came with a uh, pen clip, or you know, it keeps the everything closed and you can carry a book uh, your book around and you can stick a pen in there and it won't you don't have to worry about it falling out uh, more flying spirit uh, 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 Claire Fontaine notebooks these are really nice actually I like them a lot this is a an endless notes that I had from a few years ago came with a cloth carrying bag which was quite neat um, and it has Tomoe River paper in it which is beautiful um, yeah, and then I have different, uh, other types of notebooks that I keep 
you know, this is a, these are Oasis notebooks that I keep for a different thing. This is an old, um, I think that's a moleskin. I don't use moleskin that much. Uh, I, I don't find it. It's okay for drawing and stuff like that, but I do, I don't really like it with fountain pens as much as I, as I would have expected. The one I'm going to be using next is a Christmas present from a, a good friend of mine. And it's, I haven't actually tried this, uh, this particular notebook before. It's a Midori paper and it's, it's grid dot, very nice smooth paper. I haven't written in it yet, but I was I'll, using this for my next journal. Um, it also came with, um, a, um, uh, uh, I also, she also, my friend also gave me, uh, a cover for it, which is unusual. It came with a plastic cover and it's, uh, kind of off, off, you know, gives it extra protection. It's a soft cover notebook. I like the like this. I like these little end notes where you can put your name and things like that, and the, and the dates. Uh, one of the things I, I like is having a little sleeve on the end where I can stick things. Like I'm always keeping notes or stickers and sticking them in there, receipts or something. And there's two on this. One of the reasons I like the Lystrom is that that the um, they have these little pockets, like almost like a a file folder at the back and uh, they come with these little title blocks and things like that and, but I they have extra so I always stick them on other notebooks that I'm in using them using so what I usually do is you know uh, when I'm journaling I'll put down the date and I usually actually record the time that I'm writing so I'll make several entries sometimes maybe so, sometimes just one but there'll be days when I'll you know go to it several times and write things down or, you know, sometimes it's history of the day, whether what I'm doing, if, if I was talking to someone, uh, just some thoughts, feelings, things like that. You know, journaling is a, a really great, uh, thing to do. I think it's good for your mental health, or at least it's good for my mental health. It just, uh, you know, allows me to put down some thoughts and think about things and clarity is always, uh, is always helpful when you're writing things down. And, uh, you know, and I haven't gone through these old notebooks there from the last four years lately. I haven't looked through them, but you know, there will come a day, you know, when I will go through them. It, it's kind of enjoyable to look through an old journal, you know, a decade or two later and just, remember people that you, you've mentioned or events that you can you were at and um, and it just uh, it brings back so many memories looking through old old journals these are a little fresh to look through yet um, <laughs> during covid you know uh, it seemed like i was writing every day and quite a bit a lot of it was fairly fairly dark stuff just recording what was happening during the pandemic and you know someday i'll look back on it when this is all over and I'll remit, it's sort of like a document of the history of the time for myself. And uh, maybe someday other people, like my children or something, might look through them and uh, remember those times from my perspective. And, uh, you know, those, those are important things. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting this journal, probably start it tomorrow. And there's lots of paper. I'm not... Not too sure if it's Tomoe River paper inside. It probably is. I'll have to look that up. But Midori is a really interesting brand. Um, they have so many um, interesting products, uh, not just journals. They have all kinds of stuff. But uh, one of the one of the things I really like. Another brand I, I don't have on hand, but I do want to try is Hobonichi. I would really like to try their uh, their five uh, some sometime maybe this year I'll probably try to order uh, their five year your uh, journal where you write a line every day over f a course of five years, and uh, and those uh, that would be something I'd like to try Hobonichi. Uh, I'd like to try some more Midori. I'd like to try some Travelers notebooks stuff like that. But if you have any ideas or suggestions of notebooks that I might like to try or what your favorite one is, I'd love to, you know, just, just put it in the comments. I'd, I'm always curious to see what people are suggesting to me. And I, and I actually, <laughs> you know, sometimes I will write things down in, in this notebook. If somebody, like the other day, somebody recommended a, a Noodler's Ink 
that uh, I hadn't tried and I, I put it down there and one of my lists, you know, I write a lot of lists of things. So, but if you have a, you know, whatever your journal that you use that you would like to recommend, just enter it in the comments and I, and I always read them and I'm, and it's, uh, you know, if I find out, find something that I haven't heard of before, I'll look it up and I'll, maybe someday I'll give it a try. But, I, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and, you know, it, it's a lot of fun doing this, but uh, it also helps if you subscribe and uh, comments are always welcome and i always look forward to finding out about new products that someone might suggest so anyway i hope you have a great day uh kids are home from school soon so it'll be a bit of a chaos around here when that happens but right now it's just a nice time for me to sit back and watch paint dry <laughs> i hope you have a great day thanks a lot